and welcome to your weekend review on Drizzleland. So I've listed some movies that I've watched recently that I really wanted to review and two very special movies that I got an opportunity to actually go to the theaters and see. So we're going to start with those two. The first one is the new Avengers movie and I'm just going to say this right now. That is the best superhero movie I've honestly seen in ages, honestly. Because you got it right. I mean, the action was phenomenally great. Uh, the co comedy that you put in the movie follows the story. Uh, the battle scenes were really kick-ass. I enjoyed them. Um, I like the fact that it incorporates all of the heroes pretty much we needed that a long time ago i'm glad that you finally incorporated guardians of the galaxy characters into this movie um i know some people were kind of disappointed with the end of the movie but the story has to continue guys so something has to happen um so we're gonna go from that to the movie blockers with john cena um I was fairly impressed with this movie. I did not think that the movie was terrible in any form of way. I like the fact that they're trying to have a little bit more of a comedian aspect to his acting because normally he plays like an action hero or you know something similar to that. So I think that they did a, a fairly decent job with his character in this movie. I don't want to give the plot or, away or or what the the whole um, point of the movie because I want you guys to actually see it. But I would say, in my opinion, uh, both of these movies are a solid nine. Honestly, the acting was great in both movies, um, and I would definitely watch them over and over again uh, if I had an opportunity to. Okay, now we're going to get into some other movies that I watched recently. Flashpoint. It is a action-packed, older cop drama. Um, I thought it was fairly good. The acting was pretty good. The action scenes were pretty interesting. There's even some com some comedy in it. Um, I don't understand why people didn't give that movie a higher rating than a a six. I think I would at least give it a seven, honestly. Um, now, Witness Protection, Tom Sizemore, Forrest Whitaker, I like that movie. It came out in 1999. It's a solid, solid, well-directed, action-themed movie, honestly. Uh, I know some people said it was kind of slow in parts. I could kind of see that, but it just depends on the person. So, I mean, I, I liked it personally. The next one is Seven. Um, so Seven is definitely a crime drama thriller. But I also think the way that the movie was directed was great. Um, I listened to the book years ago on, on audio format. I thought that was amazing. Um, Seven, I think, is definitely one of those movies from the 90s that um, did not get as enough credit as it should have, honestly. Um, same thing with Kiss the Girls, which is another movie I'm going to be talking about in a minute. Um, so, yeah, I think both of those movies, honestly, are very good cop drama-themed movies. Kiss the Girls, I think, is a little bit better than Seven, in my opinion, um, because you have Morgan Freeman um, and... He just does such a great job, and obviously Ashley Judd as well. She did a great job, too, in Kiss the Girls. Um, so, yeah, those are just a few movies I have never had an opportunity to watch that I recently watched, and I, and I would give them probably a seven. Um, Summerhood, with this, which is a John Cusack movie, um, and it is by far one of the best movies that I've watched that he's ever ever been involved in. Um, so what it is, is it's basically four friends who grow up, 
um, they consistently are sent to, um, you know, camp basically every single year together, every summer. Um, and so they basically develop, you know, friendships and romances with their future girlfriends. Um, there's lots of great 80s music in it, if you like the 80s. I mean, um, oh my god, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's, it's basically a movie that you could probably watch with, you know, anybody and enjoy it. it it's, it's really entertaining, it's fun. Um, it's, it's similar to like Stand By Me, honestly. It, it has that type of, you know, nostalgia to it. It's just, it's a generally a good movie. Um, the next one is Joystick, which is a arcade-themed uh, comedy movie from the 80s. I think it came out in 85, 86. Um, I like the plot of this because it really shows the culture of the 80s arcade scene. Uh, you get the aspect of the movies that were popular back then. Uh, the music was also in the movie. They incorporates uh, Space Invaders, uh, Mario, Pac-Man, all the Tetris, all the classic arcade games that you guys grew up playing in the 80s in the arcades, they're in the movie. Um, now, this is a movie that had a rated R rating, so there are some stuff in the movies that I probably would not watch unless you are with um other people like I, I would not suggest kids probably watching the movie uh you know unless they're like under the age of like probably 14 i would say um because there is unfortunately like some stuff in the movie that people might kind of think is kind of raunchy but to this day and age probably not but then yes um, the next one I want to review is, is Nerds in Paradise, Revenge of the Nerds. So, I like all the Revenge of the Nerds movies. Who thinks that they're funny? Me. I laugh my butt off every time I watch them. So, I would say both of these movies, solid nine. Check them out. They are very entertaining and very funny. So, then we're going to move to the last movie on here. And hang on here, I need to get my train of thought here. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. So, the last one that we're going to be reviewing on here. is a movie called Schools Out. Now, Schools Out was a teen comedy movie from the 1970s. I think it was 75 or 76. But even though it's that old, we still get a great group of cast members in the movie. Um, Sean Penn, um, when he was younger was in this movie, Michelle Pfeiffer, um, I'm trying to think here, I believe John Heater was in this as well, and I think there was a guest appearance with, I want to say, I think it might have been Cindy Lauffer, I believe, when she was younger, yes, I think so, um, I would say that movie it's an older movie, but a goodie. I would say it's probably a seven in my book. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is your weekend review on Drizzle Land. If you want to check out the movies, go ahead. Add me, subscribe, um, comment below if there's any future videos ideas that you guys have that you want me to do. Uh, I will be back at some point in time to do a wrestling video. I know that I've not done one in a very long time. Um, I kind of got a little bit of heat from YouTube with the last one. 
so I kind of had to slack off on that a little bit. I didn't want to get blocked or anything. Um, so, and who, who thinks that monetizing videos is stupid? Me, <laughs> I don't agree with it at all, but anyways, um, yeah.